Hello viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Wild Arms 2. And I still have no idea how to read a sad face. If anyone knows, please tell me! No, no, I, I just thought it would be amusing to end it right there. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's continue along. Let's, let's see what um, this jackass of a village elder has planned. God, I hate this guy. Sacrifice your own grandson. What an asshole. Sorry, I just really hate this guy. Alright, let's keep going. You know, I have to say this. This guy had the audacity to yell at Judeca for wanting to use the pillar. Yeah. Way to call the kettle black, you clown. Hey, Tim. What are you, what are you talking about, man? Stop! You can't do that. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll be just fine going to the sacrificial altar. What could go wrong? Yeah, yeah, just walk up to intangible beings and be like, Yo, what's up? That'll go over real well. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why, Loka. That is a really awkward way to write that sentence, but whatever. You have a reason for dying. What the hell? That's definitely a mistranslation. He's supposed to be talking about how he's not going to die here, and how he's going to fight, but you know what, whatever. What's up, Puka? Yeah, we've already had this very strange conversation with you, Puka. Now shut up. Oh. Is Puka gonna turn evil? No, no, no. Puka's cool. Who doesn't want a floating evil teddy bear? Okay, well, he's not evil, but a floating teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, Puka wants to find his self, too. Okay. Let me get this straight. This place is important to your, I guess, sort of religion. And you don't even know where it is? Wow. I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. Fortunately, I sort of know where it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Alright. Is it just gonna play this music the whole time? I guess so. I hate this music. It's so creepy. It's like just one note. It's one of the worst tracks in the game, really. Pity. Yeah, let's reload. I don't think so. Why don't you go sacrifice yourself instead of throwing it on a 12-year-old kid? I'm sorry, but these people irritate me beyond belief. I mean, you pressure a 12-year-old kid to go sacrifice yourself because you're afraid of dying? That's sick. That's just sick. Um, well, I could rest up, but nah, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go over to Guild Glad. Teleport over there. This place is somewhat difficult to get to. Right, right. Um, let's see. One thing that's kind of weird is, like, with that effect, all of a sudden the world just starts popping in. I don't understand it. I don't know what happened to the artificial curve. It's still there, but it's not as pronounced. I guess they had to change that for the PS1's processing power or something. That's a real shame. Um, let's go over to the east here. Damn it, game! 
You want to go over to the east here. We should see a green dot eventually. Um, I think over here, maybe? Let's see. Right, right. Well, it's about where... There's the island headquarters. Yeah, we want to head over to the island headquarters, because it's about due west of there. Huh, we got different colored water there. How interesting. Yeah, here it is. It's coming up. So, yeah, it's right over here. That's the easiest way to find it. Um, yeah, I don't feel like fighting these enemies. Don't have them on my beast theory. Don't care to show them off. Sacrificial Altar. This area has three very important items that you need, need, need to get. Well, you don't need them, but it's useful. Um, yeah, we got the hurl knife equipped. Excellent. We'll need that. Whoa. What the hell? Well, see that little switch? Yeah, that's kind of hard to see there. Had me stumped for a little while. Um, there's another one over here somewhere. I don't remember where, though. Or maybe there's... An... Oh, come on, I know there's one right around here somewhere. That's weird. Oh, that's right. I remember this puzzle. This puzzle's a pain in the ass. But first we gotta take care of some gift guest pens. You know, for such a commonly named monster for such a common monster name, I can never pronounce it, but whatever, they're weak to light. Oh right, I can show off something. Let's give Rig to Bright to uh Loka. And let's use Artifact. Light flash. And of course, arrow shot. <laughs> that wasn't a lot of damage, surprisingly. It's enough, though. There we go. I wonder why that didn't deal much. Eh, whatever. They have every single element, so that's what I like to do against those guys. I remember that being more effective, though, but maybe it's just because those guys are weird or something. I don't know. What did she have before? Oh, God. Latea Salk, I think. No, I think it was a Duru. Right, right. Well... Notice something different about this area? About one of these pillars? What? What? Wow, I thought that was right. Um, right, right, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking of a different area. But you just want to kick that. That's some kick, Brad. <laughs> I've just got Brad in for some more showtime because I've used Kanan a lot. Maybe I should have just looked at my notes to begin with instead of wasting your time. Right, right, this area. Um, right. One of these. No, not that one the other one. Okay. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any... Ah, I should have fought that guy. Nope. Not that one either. There it is. It's this one. Okay. Yeah, there's a space to jump for a reason. And this is a very important room. Oh boy, we have one of the most annoying puzzles in the game, and I really don't feel like doing it right now, so, well, I don't have time to do it. 
So next time we'll um we'll do this puzzle. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time. Have a great day.